morning guys it is butt crack early in the morning um but i am super excited and i'm up it's a sunday morning where this is literally the only time that i've had to film this um but yeah it's time to harvest the loofers you can see it's been five um five and a half months um since uh, we planted the loofers um as you can see they are very nice and big behind i don't know if you saw the update video but um, in the update video, I was basically talking about how uh, we had some issues with the plants and we had insect damage with the plants and we also had a fungus that's... Um, uh, we, had a, we had tomatoes over here. Um, they, we've replaced it and now we've taken out the tomatoes and put lettuce in. But um, we had a fungus that came over onto the loofers. Um, so we've been fighting that off um, and also we had a lot of insect damage if I can find one with insect damage I think we're right over here more yeah this was the kind of insect damage that we were getting this was pretty much this is an, uh, one that's not so bad but this was the kind of insect damage that we were getting suffered from insects boring in and we've suffered from um, insects actually laying eggs so it's been a bit um, up and down with them we do have some um, loofers that are quite big we also had a little bit of this kind of um, misshaping to come to the light we kind of had some of this misshapingness as well I'm still not entirely sure why. Um, have another chance to do some proper research onto why we're getting these kind of issues. So but yeah, definitely the next time I plant loofers, well, I'm gonna do definitely do it again. The next time I do it, I'm going to do a lot more research um, into the fertilizing and the care. Um, unfortunately, when I left, yeah, it suffered a bit. Um, but yeah, next time we're going to definitely try and do it in a better way. Um, I definitely feel like I'm going to keep them um, a metre apart when I plant them next. Definitely going to use the trellising again because that worked really well. But yeah, guys, let's get on with the harvest. I'm super excited. Yay! Um, I did harvest like a small one um, earlier um, when I first got here. But um, yeah, it wasn't really worth showing. But I really, there's a nice one um, over here this one that's brown um yes yeah, so i can't wait to harvest that one and there's a few other small ones as well so yeah guys let's go on with the harvest hey guys um as i said to you in the very first video we are leaving the loofah to actually ripen um on well uh, not ripen as such but to actually dry out completely on the on the uh trellising that's why I really do love this plant as well, because of the ability to do that. And we obviously we're in a um, sandy, very hot, pretty much sun all the time. So they dry out pretty quickly. What I've noticed is that they dry out in about two weeks once they get to this stage. So this one is um, starting to turn and um, you can see the, the, the seams starting to show, which is pretty much what it happens as it starts to dry out. At this point, it's, it's hard, but it's still a little bit spongy um this is a, a f pretty much a fresh loof for i still think it's going pretty hard actually so this one will probably turn soon it's a nice big one it's probably one of the, our most perfect ones um so after it goes that kind of um, lime yellow it will start to look like this where it starts to brown it will look like it will start to rot but don't worry this is just literally the beginning stages of it completely drying out and what you really want to wait for is for it to look like this. So this is a completely dried out loofah, still on the vine. Um, it's very hollow. You can see how light that is. I'm tapping it like this. It's very light, hollow, crunchy and ready to harvest. It's a nice decent size as well. I haven't had a nice one like this. So I'm really excited to see the full loofah. Um, we have another one over here obviously this one had the insect damage unfortunately but the good thing about loofah is that you know pieces like this 
you know that could be a piece and that could be its own piece and so you know even with the insect damage there is still something that can be salvaged from it this one is a nice big one and it's starting to go yellow um, <clears throat> I mean, we definitely have some nice big ones um, we also have some small ones which I, once again everything about the loofah is useful um, the, even the outer skin can be used as fertilizer and composted but um, yeah you can hear the, hear the seeds rattle It'll be very you see how much how easy it is to to peel I'm gonna pick I'm gonna harvest this now but how easy it is to just crack open once they're at this stage um here's a nice another big one that's coming along that should be pretty much finished growing i, have, I haven't seen it grow in size anymore so it should turn soon so i would say in about another four weeks um i'd pretty much harvest the majority of the larger ones you can see this one over here this one is turning so that one should be ready soon um, there's one over here which is almost ready and so yeah guys um, if you live in an area like mine that has the ability to dry outside I would definitely just suggest leaving the loofers outside to dry because you literally as soon as you bring them in you run the risk of this, um, funguses destroying the actual loofah because a fungus will destroy the loofah itself um, so you don't want that to happen. You don't want it to mold. Um, you want it to dry out nicely and crisp. Um, you can see here is a nice little vision of the of the. This one is nice and fresh. This one is turning. This one is turned. So that's a pretty much a nice overview of what the what they look like in their different processes of harvesting. So yeah, guys. Now I'm gonna harvest them. I've got my bucket over here. I'm so excited, guys. I've been waiting for this. Ever since I um, discovered that loofah was actually uh, a vining fruit, it, you know, in this, where we stay in Ritchie, in, in South Africa, where we stay is really a perfect environment for growing these. <clears throat> It loves the loofah love the heat so if you're in a colder climate i'm not entirely sure the kind of success rate you'd get but if you're definitely in a hot climate semi-arid as well you are definitely in a great place to grow your loofahs so yeah guys i've got a few here a few nice ones Ooh. The stalks are very tough. I suppose they'd have to be to carry such weight. So I th um, I'm not sure how many more I'd have that are ready. From what I saw, that was about it. There were some over here. Yeah. This one is very nearly ready. It's quite a big one. Has some insect damage, so it will probably be cut in sections that section hopefully is a nice clean section in the gourd um, this one is not ready yet still green on that side um, I think that's it this one is turning um, yeah I think that's it guys I think I've got my three so I'm gonna take this back to the pack house and I'm going to start um, peeling it and washing it okay guys so I'm in the pack house now and I have the loofers um, as you can see this one is a really nice one it's got a really nice shape um, to it um, and then we've got these two smaller ones Oops, the seed is already dropped out <coughs> The seed is already dropped out so uh, yeah this should be quite easy because they are very dry because they're very dry it should be quite easy so let's start with the big one so what I've seen of these videos is literally just crack it and take one of the tips off and there it is
still a little bit of moisture in there even as it's so dry um so what they say is that yeah you get a little you, you find a, a cord like this and you literally pull down like a zip and it should come off very easily see all of the seeds there's a load of seeds in there <clears throat> and as well guys as I, as I said like every part of the loofah is very is useful I mean when it's soft that you can obviously eat it um what I see from it it seems to me like to be like a bit of an okra and then obviously when it dries it becomes the loofah and even these husks can be used for um, mulch or compost fertilizer. This has come off very easily and I have a very nice looking loofah out of it guys. This is very impressed by this. This is a smaller of the loofah, one of the loofahs that we have out there and it's the first real one to be ready. You can see all of the seeds inside. But yeah, it looks very nice. I'm very impressed with it. It's a very perfect kind of loofah shape. So let me just take this out of the way so that I can shove the seeds. They're already trying to fall out. <clears throat> Oops, and here we go. <clears throat> going to do guys is leave it to dry out in in this state um taking it out as much as this was very very crisp i can still feel moisture points so i'm going to wash it and then i'm going to leave it to dry for a few days once again the area that i'm in is very very arid so it dries very quickly things dry very quickly out here <clears throat> Okay guys, so I'm going to turn off the camera just to save battery <laughs> because this is going to take a while it seems. But um, a lot are coming out as I'm trying, as I'm manipulating it. So I'll come back to you once I've removed most of the seeds. So what I've seen as well guys about uh, washing the loofah, which I'm not going to wash that, I'm going to cut that before I wash that one. Um, <clears throat> is to literally just scrunch it up and it's almost the kind of a soapy feeling that kind of comes out of it, which is true to form. Um, just giving them a wash, uh, taking the last residue of the, of the actual plant matter off. As I'm doing that, I, I, uh, I'm actually seeing that it's working and the, the, the seeds are kind of coming out of the bottom on their own. As you give it a little shake, as well, it seems to come out. Um, I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm going to try and bleach them to be a uh, pure white or not I'm not really a fan of lots of um, chemicals and stuff like that some people did suggest doing that um, I'll see what the natural color is and see if I'm happy with it I mean these are going to become some bath products these are also going to become um, some you know household products as well I'm going to make um, I'm just going to basically decide what's the safest, what's the most natural kind of way to really get a nice look, final look from the loofah. 
if it is just a case of leaving it as it is natural, then that's what it will be. Um, just scrunching on it, moving it through the water, and the seats do just come out on their own a lot easier. Okay, guys, so I'm going to do the, the, the this other one, the smaller one. I'm going to cut this one as well. Um, and then, yeah, I'll show you the final result. So, guys, I've all finished cleaning them up, and here they are. I've got this very, really, really nice big one here. That's obviously the bigger than a chopping board. Um, I've got this um, slightly smaller one here, which would be great. I'm going to cut up um, and use for um, as so. So I think I'm going to cut this one as well into slices after it's dried properly, and um, I'm going to embed soap into it. So I'm actually going to do some soap making videos soon, guys. Hope you're excited about that. I know I am. I'm super excited to make soaps. I love beauty products. So I'm going to be making some loofah soaps. I'm also going to be making um, loofah on a rope. Loofah soap on a rope. So I'm going to be doing all sorts of things with the final product of this. Um, this little one, unfortunately, had um, kept some of it staining. I might try washing it a, a couple more times, see if I can get some of the stainage out. Other than that, I might just use it around the house to clean floors and whatnot. Um, but these two are beautiful, um, really, really beautiful. Um, I'm really impressed the way um, they've turned out so far, the ones that are whole and complete and without any defects. Um, even this one that had defects is still a decent product that I can use. So I'm really excited, guys. So um, I'll probably show you a bigger harvest. Oh, yeah, let me show you. Also, we have the seeds in here. Um, just a quick note on the seeds. When I was actually watching videos on these seeds, um, I was a bit um, worried about the coating that actually came on the seeds. But if you saw the, the coating, the little paper coating comes off literally just by you rubbing it. I mean, these are all of the good seed that I was able to harvest from um, these uh, loofers. Um, yeah, I'm going to be replanting them next season which i'm excited about and hopefully this will be a regular thing for us now creating such beautiful loofers so yeah guys thank you so much for watching um a few of you have already commented on my last video and said that you um, are going to be trying to grow loofah yourself so let me know how they turned out if you tweet me below and send me some pictures of your loofers if you're growing for the first time as i did but this guys is a really successful first attempt for me at growing loofers and I'm really excited about the product that I can make, the product that it is and um, yeah, the products that I can make in the future. So thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, to comment um, and to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!